Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Bill over at Little Airfoils uh, with a second video of Franken 40, uh, my version of a uh, Chinese K40 laser. Uh, in this video here, we're going to talk about the mechanics. Um, basically, this is what your 3D prints are going to look like once you have everything assembled. You know, this here's a corner. This is what she looks like. See, that was the double-ended uh, motor from the uh, K40s, so it's a stock motor. There's two uh, 608 bearings, roller blade bearings in there. The other Y carriage. Okay, so basically what I did was I started out with, let me push this back, I uh, get you want to look at the Y, I mean the X axis. Okay, alright, <clears throat> I started with a three quarter inch thick melamine board. I bolted I bolted the uh, 20 by 20 rails to the melamine board with 5 by 25 millimeter screws. I had to shave them down to make them 23 millimeters so they wouldn't interfere with the uh, 20 by 20 extrusion. Uh, when you put those in, make sure you get them parallel. Uh, I mean, it's those aren't that critical, but it would make it easier for you later on when you're trying to adjust it. Your Y-axis ones, those have to be parallel or you're going to have major problems. Alright, uh, basically, get the corners on. These are eight millimeter long, five millimeter diameter um, uh, screws. See the T-nuts? Those are for the V-slot. Okay, uh, basically any, if there's a print being screwed down to uh, the extrusion, it's going to be an eight millimeter long, five millimeter diameter screw. And I believe you're going to need about 36 of them throughout this whole thing. Uh, the T-nuts, I got those on Amazon. Um, everything I got on Amazon pretty much, except for I got these black wheels on eBay. They kind of suck. So avoid those, but they are cheap. Um, on the Y-axis, they're not as critical as if it was on the X-axis. Which, you know, I had 24... Um, I bought 24 wheels, uh, and I ended up only getting eight that were usable. So I ended up having to go to openbuilds.com and buy these wheels. They're like $6.99 each. Not thrilled about it, but it sure made a difference. Otherwise, you'll get weird wiggle patterns because of this x-axis is the one that moves the most. Uh, let's see, these I got on Amazon as well. They're 20 tooth um, uh, pulleys. They're 6 millimeter wide with a 3 millimeter bore. Um, you're going to need three of those. There's one there on the end of the X and one in the front on each side of the Y. Um, those are your adjusters. Uh, they come in, I think, a pack of five. Um, from open builds as well, you're going to need these eccentric nuts and they have some spacers as well. Um, I believe these are the 5 millimeter bore and uh, they're about 10 millimeters tall. Uh, you're going to need a pack of those. Uh, well, there's two on each of the Y and two on 
on the X carriages that's where you're gonna have your adjustability uh, let's see what else <clears throat> oh uh, this here is also a 20 tooth it's an 8 millimeter bore 6 millimeter wide got this on Amazon as well um, the belts uh, you just buy a roll from Amazon it's like five meters or something and you cut them to length you just use uh, some screws here these are five millimeter by 15 millimeter I believe um, you need six of those so you can put uh, your uh, see that your belts that's what they screw to I have these ones screwed out the rear ones you know uh, those you put in last I still haven't tightened up the screws on the X carriage to 20 by 40 um, because I was going to show you how to put it in, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. You got to make sure all those little T-slots are there and you slide it in one way and then you put it back the other. Um, but I have it adjusted where I want it right now. Uh, let's see, when you get this thing together... You uh, leave the motor and the bearing uh, prints off. That way you can square up your uh, gantry. Basically, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you know these uh, Y rails are parallel with each other. Use a tape measure. Um, it's just whether they're perfectly parallel, that's what you do next. And you measure it from each corner to corner diagonally, and that's where you'll end up getting it all squared up. If you do that, it'll be nice and smooth throughout its whole travel. It's pretty easy to do, just, you know, be patient um, and figure it out. You'll learn from it. Let's see, what else? Oh, the tube. Let's see. I left the orange prints. I, there's over here some of the tube parts um, I just don't feel like dressing those parts up I just want I only printed them to make sure that the files would be correct um, you kind of have to make sure that the uh, so the orange into the blue uh, those have to integrate and slide throughout the slots you got to work those little orange pieces a little bit to get them to travel well um, another modification I did, the, the parts are still, the print parts are stock, but a modification I did was uh, I uh, super glued with a little bit of baking soda uh, the nuts into place so I never have to worry about them coming out. Um, I also super glued the uh, screw into place and uh, so it's never coming out and it won't <clears throat> Excuse me. It won't interfere with the tube at all because there's it's plugged So just don't bang it around and you won't break your tube and you'll be all good um, In part in the electronics part. I'll go ahead and tell you about how I connected the uh, tubes and redid the connections on them and uh, and whatnot, but here's what one of these uh, adjusters look like before you put the tube through it. All right. Oh, uh, there was these orange pieces. This one here. Um, I messed up. I should have undid this side over here and undid all these set screws when I tried to move the shaft to get this piece on. And uh, I tried to cheat and just undo this, but the weight of all this broke and snapped my blue printed piece and then the head here I have a spacer for a cloud ray and I printed a blue one but this one I already have sanded perfectly because you adjust it you know for the height to the thread and these things are Chinese so not every one is made perfectly so mine fits good so I'm not replacing it but it also lets you see what it is too it's the spacer that lifts the head up so you, you hit your second mirror real nice. 
Uh, let's see. If you have any questions, just put down in the uh, comments section and I'll try and answer them. Um, I said there was going to be three videos, but actually I believe there's going to be five. Because this is the second one. The third one's going to be throwing all this in uh, into the enclosure. Because this is as far as you can do and build before you get it in the enclosure. And you don't want to build it inside the enclosure because it's a pain in the butt to get to some of these adjustments. So the next video is going to be the en enclosure and the gantry getting mated together. And then uh, it's going to be uh, the electronics and then how to set this puppy up and get her running. Uh, have fun. Stay safe. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.